Speaker, thank you. The Premier's vote-buying scheme to woo back support in post-secondary is very transparent. Frankly, it's too little and it's too late. This Premier and her minister swung the axe of the sector in the March budget, and schools have been uh, adjusting their budgets ever since. Mr. Speaker, this was a $50 million rebate to a $150 million cut to the minister. How does the Premier's last-minute vote-buying scheme help the hundreds of students already turned away from Alberta post-secondary schools because of your short-sighted decision? Mr. Speaker, first of all, this is really, really rich coming from that party that doesn't even have advanced education in their shadow budget. It's really rich coming from an opposition that has been and is on the record during estimates of this last budget advocating for deeper cuts into advanced education. And Mr. Speaker, if this member, if this member would actually bother to show up at my office, sit down one day and discuss the budget and what is happening in Campus Alberta, he wouldn't be asking questions like these in the House. Mr. Speaker, I might have to wander over and try some of that $11,000 furniture out for myself. <laughs> The domino effect of the March cuts goes on. How does the Premier's last-minute vote-buying scheme remedy the 30 few, fewer nurses Medicine Hat College will train this year, the 300% increase in mandatory fees that University of Lethbridge students are paying, or the 20 arts programs at the University of Alberta that have been axed? Well, Mr. Speaker, again, if this member would ever bother to at least send a letter or a memo, I would respond and let him know that, Mr. Speaker, on July 3rd, on July 3rd of this year, I have had a conversation with all chairs of all post-secondary institutions, advising them when first opportunity arises, we will do what we can in year to alleviate some of the enrollment pressures that have occurred this year. This, has, this is a commitment of July 3rd. First opportunity arose. We did exactly what we promised. Why? Because it is our number one priority. Honourable members, when I, uh, when I ask you to please keep your uh, preambles little or non-existent whatsoever, uh, I should have clarified that uh, brief retorts, such as we just heard, uh, ahead of a supplemental are also a form of supplementary. So please, let's just get to the questions with no interruptions. Let's get to the answers with no interruptions. Let's just try something different here. Let's see how this works. Point of clarification. Honourable member. You have a point of order? I'll hear your point of clarification later, please. Let's go on with the supplementary. All right, Mr. Speaker, thank you. I think the date in question here is actually November 22nd. Considering how obvious it is that the $50 million rebate will not fix the problem for the original cuts that they created, how are Alberta taxpayers supposed to believe this is anything but another half-baked attempt at saving the minister's hide and his boss's job? Here, here. Mr. Speaker, the date in question is July 3rd, and if this member, again, paid attention to the portfolio that he's supposed to shadow, he would have known that. That's when the government made the commitment to post-secondaries. Mr. Speaker, we know that our schools had to make very difficult decisions because this government had to make very difficult decisions last March, and we know that this opposition wouldn't want us to have a deficit budget. We did the prudent, fiscally responsible thing, and we did trim some budgets. When first opportunity for, investment, for reinvestment arose, we took advantage of it and we have reinvested. The Honourable Member for Empton 